Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. So, all right, let's get let's get to this whole Gabby Gabby versus Kate and Jake. This scene for two grown ass women women. Remind me of something that I would see in high school. Okay. Um, you know, Gabby brings up Kate's past. Kate brings up Gabby's past. Um, Gabby's like, hey, listen, I know you still want me to whatever. I know you have to sit there and tell me to get out in front of her. But, you know, when you're done with whatever that is... You know, think about both my proposals. And then she walks off. And, you know, Jake doesn't really seem like he says anything. And I'm like, bro, at first, when Kate walks in and she sees both of them kissing, um, Kate's about to walk out. Jake practically begs her to stay. And I'm just sitting there thinking, you know, you could have just said no. Like, you had so much energy when you were sitting there, you know, getting, you know, going to go get Kate and, and begging her to stay. Where was that energy at when, uh, you know, why didn't you have that same energy when uh, Gabby's tongue was down your throat? Why, 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 why? I, I just, I don't understand that scene. You just, all you had to do was say no, you know? And, and towards the end... You know, Jake is all like, oh, well, you know, you're the only person for me. I only care about you and yada, yada, yada. Really? Really? You, you cared about her so much that that you decided to let her kiss you. You, you, you cared about her so much. I, I just, uh, you know, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to lie. As much as I like Jake, this reminds me of the scene where Gabby was knocking on the door and Gwen was in the room. And Jake practically shoved Gwen into the closet. Now, as you all know, I have no use for Gwen whatsoever. But, bro, like, what are you doing? This is high school level BS. This isn't something that a grown 30-something year old man would do. Once again, this is what Jake decides to do. Just say, oh, no, it, you know, you're the only person that matters. And, you know, Kate the life of me it's just like yeah I understand you know Gabby comes in here and she takes what she wants and I'm like okay so why don't you just do the smart thing and just either bow out gracefully or sit there and put your cards on the table and be like hey listen next time I come in the room maybe I shouldn't sit there and find you and her in a compromising position or you know her tongue down your throat. Just one of the two would do. Um, okay. Let's just. Uh, let's get this whole Gwen scene out the way. So yeah. I'm kind of looking at Gwen. Like she is just a very. I don't want to sit there and say petty. Because her story. Is just. Effed up. Okay. She grew up poor with her mother, and she claims, and this is the part that gets a little muddy, she claims that, you know, her mother went to see Jack, and Jack didn't want to have anything to do with them, and Jack sent her a little bit of money each and every time, um, until he finally stopped, and they were living, and from one... Hell ho to the next. Here's the here's my problem with this whole story. Gwen basically said the the little bit of or the last bit of money that she had, quote unquote, her mother snorted it out. Now, she kept sitting there saying, "Well, you remember, you knew exactly what 
what it was. You knew you had a daughter. You knew and, and yada, yada, yada. I'm like, so let me get this straight. You're going to trust um, someone who was probably coked up out of their mind 24-7 over this guy who is like, I have no idea who you are. I didn't know that you had a daughter. This was years ago. Now, I'm not going to lie. When Gwen started talking and Jack was like, huh? What? What? What are you talking about? What, what cocktail weight is this? What are you talking about one, one night stand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I'm like, Jack, Jack, you, you got you to gotta kind of chime in. You, you might want to say something here. Your wife who just took you back, <laughs> I, th I think she wants some answers. Um, but, uh, yeah, I um, basically was like, I had no idea I had a daughter. And Gwen is pretty much punishing him and his daughter, pretty much his family, for something that he didn't know. So I'm just like, Gwen, I get it. You're in pain. You're, you're angry. You grew up your whole life. But, I mean, come on. To some extent, like, if you're a 16 and you went through this, okay, fine. But you know what? Listen, everyone has a sob story. You know, everyone has a bad, you know, a lot of people have bad upbringings. But at some point, you kind of got to make a choice about what you want to do with your life. And this, this whole super petty, vindictive BS that you're doing on her, I mean, on him and his daughter who has no idea who you are. It's just like, really, sweetheart? Really? This is... Like, this is what you chose to do with your life moving forward. Now, again, this one thing, if he actually knew, and he was just like, nah, I'm good. You know, I got one door. I don't, I don't, I don't claim her. And yes, go after him. I mean, you might want to spare, you know, his daughter, his other, your sister, because she doesn't know. But him, I get it. Now, my, um,. My theories is that, well, I feel like Jennifer might have had something to do with that. I feel like there's a chance, there's a good chance that Jennifer might have had something to do with that. Because apparently they were getting money from somewhere. Um, and if, you know, he was with Jennifer at the time, or was he with Jennifer at the time? I don't think he was with Jennifer at the time. He might have been with somebody else at the time. I don't know. I also tell you the truth, I, I'm just like this whole... Yeah, I actually tell you the truth now I think about this whole, like, Jennifer thing theory just kind of went out the window. Because it's not like he cheated on her again. Um, but yeah, this whole this whole story is just jacked. You know, it's like, she's just so hell-bent on revenge that she's going to believe her mother, who probably nine, time, 9 out of 10 was not in her right mind, and decide to go on this revenge quest for years and years and years. And, um, caused a whole bunch of havoc to his family. And she didn't even get the whole story. Like, really? And again, you know, I get everything that she did except for the whole sleeping with Chad while he was drunk because he couldn't give consent despite the type of BS that came out of her mouth. Um, now on the other side, on the other side of town, Chad pretty much just tells um, Abby everything that happened, you know. Gwen's your sister. Also, oh, by the way, she also is the one that, that drugged you. Um, that gave you the drugs. And it wasn't Gabby. So, yeah. One second. Um... I'm not gonna lie, that kind of just threw me off for a minute. So, yeah, he explains everything that happened. You know, she's also your sister and the whole drug thing. But then after that, you know, he's like, hey, listen, I'm sorry you have to go through that alone. Um, I wish I could be here for you. And, you know, Abby's like, yeah, but you can't. So, bye. Also, by the way, next time you come over, make sure you call. So that way we won't have to have any of this. And that's pretty much about it. And then he walks away. He... Walks up to Gabby and he's like, hey, listen, um, by the way, I kind of owe you an apology. 
you know, because you weren't the one that drugged Abby with Gwen, and there's a whole bunch of other mess that I gotta catch up on, but yeah. So, yeah, and also that was one of the things that, you know, Kate threw up in her face is that, you know, she's the one that drugged Abby and, you know, the whole pacemaker and everything. And, I mean, listen, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know all the dirty deeds that um, Gabby did. Also, the dirty deeds that, well, Kate went through. I mean, that Kate did. Um, now, the last two little pieces of information is um, Ben and Allie. Pretty much, the only thing that's of any importance is that um, Ben was like, you know, because, at, you know, Allie was like, listen, I don't want to relive that horrible event that happened to me, that horrible thing that happened to me. And Ben was like, listen, you know, I don't want to do that either, but, you know, it helped me move forward with my life and to, to move on. And with that being said, you know, towards the end, Ali called up Marlene and was like, hey, listen, I want to go through with the, you know, with the, would you hypnotize me? So that way I could try to remember. Um, still wondering when she's going to give that apology to the trip, but, um, yeah, I'm still waiting. Actually, tell you, I'm waiting for the whole damn town, not just her, for the whole damn town. That's from Lucas, Nicole, Kate, which I know she has her other issues with, but, like, to me, there needs to be some apologies, there needs to be some fruit baskets, there needs to be some gift cards. I mean, there needs to be some stuff going on. Um, and Roman, yes, I did not forget him too. Um, what else? Uh, last scene, now, at first I looked at this and I was somewhat perturbed. So Charlie is trying to worm his way back into, um, worm his way back into Claire, Claire's life, you know, talking about, oh, I'm your boyfriend, I'm your soulmate, and all this other stuff, and, you know, Claire's like, so, when we're about to, you know, do the Devil's Tango, you didn't sit there and tell me that you had a mother, and I found out that your mother was tied up, drugged out of her mind. So honestly, to tell you the truth, I really didn't know you. So the whole time, you know, Charlie's all like, oh, well, you know, we belong together. And, you know, uh, no one believes me. And, you know, he started getting his sob story, like, my brother and my mother is against me and yada, yada, yada. And, and I, where is the father in all this? That's what I'm curious about. Like, when is he going to show up? Because I don't, I don't think he's dead. So when is he going to show up? But, um, you know, Charlie's giving his sob story and, you know, I'm imagining violins in the back of the, in the background, and then um, Ben comes in. Ben's like, "Well, um, <clears throat> what's what, what's going on? What's what's this conversation about?" You you know, don't even tell me. This conversation's done. It's over. Um, he just shuts that down. You know, Charlie does the whole puppy eyes. It's like, no, you gotta believe me. I mean, we're having such an important conversation, and you know, Claire has this look on her face now. Claire also um, should give Tripp an apology. But here's the thing. At this point, Charlie is just a suspect in this whole, you know, alley rape situation. There's no proof to the contrary. Um, the only thing she can really be upset about is the fact that, you know, she lied, that he lied to her about Ava being his mother, being tied up. And the whole, you know, kind of drugged out of it, out of her mind. But the whole rape thing with Ali, there's no proof. Um, like they didn't do a DNA test and stuff like that. So she kind of has this conflicted look on her face. So part of me was like, so given everything that everyone else is saying, you're still confused. Like you didn't just walk away really fast. You didn't just mace the hell out of his eyes. Nothing. You're just kind of standing there like. Like, you're still somewhat confused, but... Okay, fine. There's no evidence against him. Yeah. So, sure, Claire, we'll go with that. But, I don't mean, to be honest, you kind of should have just walked away a long time ago instead of hearing anything he had to say. But, again, there's no evidence, so... Yeah. 
I, I just kind of, kind of, I kind of got to keep that into perspective because I remember something that uh, somebody wrote down in the comment section about how, as fans, we know the truth, but as you know, the story of these characters, they don't. So I kind of, kind of, you know, chilling out a little bit before I'm just like, what are you doing? Why are you still having that reaction? And yeah, so with that being said, yeah, I think that's actually going to do it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Hope everyone has a great weekend and I will catch everyone in the next review.